Greetings, my name is Kerry and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about what I plan to read in July, but before I get into that I do just want to make an apology. When I started my channel I had an idea for a feature that would help me to well, make decisions about some of the books that I wasn't sure whether I wanted to read or not. At the time I couldn't think of a, a good name for it, so the name that I came up with, the name that stuck was Book Death Row. Since the start of this year I've been getting more and more uncomfortable with that as a name for the feature and I've recently decided that actually I don't want it to be called that anymore. I realised that it could be seen as really insensitive and upsetting to some people and I don't I don't want to be upsetting people so I really do apologise if anyone has been upset by that. I've taken down the video specifically relating to that challenge um, but it is something that I've mentioned in a number of other videos and I don't exactly remember which ones so just please do be aware of that if you are going back and looking through some of my old videos it may be mentioned it's generally in the TBRs and the wrap ups recent reads and unhauls that it's probably been mentioned. So moving forward I have decided not to continue that challenge. I did think about carrying it on under a different name but I've decided not to continue with it. I'm going to talk in more detail about what I'm doing instead in my mid-year goal check-in video which I'll be filming for you very soon uh, in the next couple of weeks but for now I've decided so that I can keep including a random pick for my TBR I've gone back to the oldest books on my TBR list and I've used a random number generator to pick a book from that list for this month. So on to what I'm planning to read in July. I have tried to keep it quite low-key again this month and not pick too many things. So I've stuck to mainly talking about my staples and a couple of book club things that I'm involved in and then leave a lot of room for mood reading again. There are a few things that I may or may not pick up depending on how I feel at the time but we'll go with that. So the first book, the one that I just mentioned that I used a random number generator to pick this from the oldest books on my TBR list and this is called The Confessions of Catherine de Medici by C.W. Gortner. This is a historical fiction novel set in the 16th century about the Medici family, particularly Catherine de Medici. I believe it's set mostly in France, which is where she ended up living, although the Medici family are more commonly associated with Italy. I don't know a lot about them other than that they were quite an important family in European history, so I'm really interested to see what this is like, whether it's any good. I do quite like historical fiction usually. C.W. Gortner is not an author I've read before, so I'll be interested to see how this goes. This was one I picked up in a library sale a number of years ago, so really interested to see how that turns out. The next book is the one I've picked for my read around the world for this month. This is another one that I discovered from the Strong Sense of Place podcast, which I absolutely love. This was mentioned in their episode on Morocco, but not actually by the host. It was by someone that they interviewed in that podcast who lives and works in Morocco. And it was one that she picked out or she recommended the author as a Moroccan author that really captures the the feeling of what it's like to live in Morocco. So this is called Secret Son by Leila Lalami. This is a story about a teenager who finds out that he is the son of quite a wealthy businessman and it's about how his life changes when he is brought into his father's world and what happens. It sounds like it could be really interesting. I'm really hoping to get a real sense of Morocco, which is a country that I'm really intrigued by and would really love to visit. Learn a little bit about it from when I was studying French about some of the history of France's involvement with the country, but not loads. So I'm really keen to read this and I'm hoping I'll really like it because Leila Lalami has a number of other books as well that also sound really good. I've just realised I bought this second hand, it's actually a signed copy, so I don't know who Sue is, but that's really cool, I hadn't realised that, I've literally just noticed that. So really looking forward to giving this one a go. Okay, so then going on to my book club, the classics book club that I'm in, the book is not announced until the first of the month, the poll is already up on the Facebook group and at the moment it looks like there's going to be a runaway winner, so the theme for July is Jane Austen books because she passed away in July 1817. We have the choice of any of her novels and I think also Sanditon, her unfinished novel, is included in that. But at the moment it looks like the runaway winner is going to be Emma. It's got double the amount of the votes of any of the others. I've read all of Jane Austen's books before so whichever one is picked would be a reread for me. But I really do hope it's this one because this is my favourite Jane Austen novel. <laughs> 
although I would happily reread any of the others, but I think this one is the one that's going to be most likely to win unless something very strange happens over the next couple of days. Very much looking forward to rereading this next month, or whichever other one is picked. And then I've just joined a science fiction and fantasy book club, but we haven't picked our first book yet that we're going to read, but with a few of the other people in that group I'm going to be doing a buddy read of City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty. I've been meaning to get to this series for such a long time, I've actually had it out from the library before. When we started talking about buddy reading it I just decided to get myself a copy because I really do want to read it and it'd be really lovely to buddy read it with some friends, so I'm buddy reading this with Maddie from Book Browsing Blog, Lena from Lena Francis, Stephanie from Miss Richards Reads, and I'm not sure if she's rereading it or just there for moral support. Amber from Books with Amber is also in our group chat. She loved this series and she was one of the people encouraging us to buddy read it together. I'll link all their channels down in the description for you so you can go and check them out. They're really lovely, really great people with that. I'm really pleased to be buddy reading this book with and planning our book club. There's quite a few other people in the book club as well, so it's really exciting to be in the early planning stages of that. So looking forward to all the books that we're planning to read together, but the first one that we're doing, or at least a subgroup of us are doing, is this one. I'm very much excited. On to some of the other books that I might get around to that I'm not definitely sure about yet. I've just finished an anthology today, an essay collection, so I was thinking about what do I want to read next, and I've been reading quite a lot of heavy stuff, a lot of quite quite serious anthologies, essay collections and quite serious non-fiction so I thought for my next anthology I think I'm going to pick up Tales from Mortarship Down by Richard Adams. I talked about this in my series I Need to Finish. When I made that video I said I didn't know why I hadn't got around to buying it and reading it and so this was one of the books that I stress bought during <laughs> lockdown. Um, I can't remember which book haul it's included with because I've got one that I filmed that I haven't uploaded yet. So this is a collection of short stories featuring the characters from the first book, Watership Down. Watership Down is one of my all-time favourite books, I really, really love it. So I'm really excited to get back into that world and see the characters again, and hopefully it'll be a nice bit of light relief compared to some of the other series stuff that I've been reading. On which note, I'm going to talk about a couple of non-fiction books I'm hoping to get to this month. One of them is another quite serious one, it's uh, an area that I'm trying to do a lot of reading around at the moment. At the moment, I'm still reading White Fragility by Robin D'Angelo and Invisible Women by Caroline Criado Perez, which are both quite hefty books, one about race and one about feminism. So on a similar vein, another book that I'd like to get to soon is Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race by Rennie Edo Lodge. I've been listening to her podcast, which is called About Race. I've heard so many good things about this book, this is one that is really highly recommended for understanding systemic racism within the UK, as the other books that I've been reading have been more focused on the USA. I'm really looking forward to getting into this and understanding a bit more about the situation in my own country, and I've got a number of other books on my Amazon wishlist that I'm going to start buying once I've got through this one and a couple of others that I've already bought that are on similar themes. Yeah, I've heard so many good things about this book and really looking forward to picking up but I kind of have a feeling that once I've finished White Fragility and Invisible Women I might want a little bit of light relief in terms of my non-fiction before I go into something hefty again. So I might pick this one up first just for a bit of something different. So this is called Sweets, A History of Temptation by Tim Richardson. This is actually another of the oldest books on my TBR and it is what it says, it's a history of sweets. So it's something I find really fascinating. There was actually a show on BBC a couple of years ago at Christmas about sweet making through the ages which I found fascinating. I've recently in lockdown been teaching myself to make fudge as well so I think it might be a good time to pick this one up and learn a bit more about the history of sweets. And then finally, I mean I still have a few other books that I might get round to. I've got a couple of books I haven't quite finished yet in June, although there's a few more days, I don't know if I'll get to them so they'll probably tick over. Still got a couple of library books out that I'm hoping to get to soon, and then I'm mainly going to be mood reading, but one thing I did want to mention, although I'm not actively taking part in the readathon, there's a readathon called Transathon happening in July, which is one that I'd really love to take part in, but I know that I don't have a lot of books from trans and non-binary authors at the moment, and so hopefully I'm going to be investing in that a bit more over the coming months as well. I do have two books that I might try and get to in honour of that readathon this month from non-binary authors. So one of them is When the Moon Was Ours by Anna Marie McLemore. Anna Marie McLemore has recently come out as non-binary 
and they've written a number of books and they all sound really good because I'm always reluctant when I haven't read an author before to spend a lot of money on their books until I know if I'm going to like them. This was the book that I could get for cheapest on a secondhand book site but also had it sounded like it had a really interesting concept but I'm fairly certain I'm going to like their writing and if I do I'm really excited that they've got quite a big back catalogue fairly fairly big I mean it's I think maybe five or six books I'm not entirely sure how many but a lot of them are fairy tale retellings and some of the lesser known fairy tales so I'm quite looking forward to trying to get to this one and this one is fairly short so I'm hoping that I might be in the mood for this at some point in the month and then the other one that I might get to but again I haven't definitely decided is The Never Tilting World by Rin Chipeko who is another non-binary author and again they have quite a good back catalogue I think maybe half a dozen to ten books out already and I've heard really good things about them as an author so this one I actually did buy new but at the time I, I ordered this initially because Rin Chipeko had come under attack on Twitter for something that wasn't their fault and a lot of people were leaving them terrible reviews on Goodreads and that sort of thing which was totally uncalled for so that's why I decided to buy this book new and full price and hardback. This was the book of theirs that I thought I would enjoy most to start with because I like to make sure I really enjoy the first book I read of an author and then hopefully I will enjoy it and I'll go and pick up some of their other books. I've heard really good things about the Bone Witch trilogy. So that is all the books that at the moment I'm planning to get to in July. As I said I've got a number of other books that are quite high up on my TBR. We may also have our first pick for the Space Sirens book club which is the sci-fi fantasy book club that recently been involved in setting up with some other lovely booktubers so hopefully I'll be able to tell you a bit more about that in the future but I'm not sure when we're picking our first book for that but I mean that's probably enough to be getting on with and I probably won't actually get to all of them but we'll see how I get on. Let me know if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them, have a chat down in the comments with me about some of the things you're planning to pick up, are you taking part in any readathons? You can also like this video if you liked it and please also think about subscribing if you haven't already. It really helps me to grow my channel to know that people are supporting my videos. You can also follow me on my social media, I'm on Twitter and I'm on Instagram and I'm on Goodreads and uh, all that information will be listed in the description box below for you. But that's it for today, so thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you again soon. Bye!